let's begin in a nice, comfortable seat. So feel free to cross your legs if that feels okay. Maybe sit up on a blanket or a pillow. Just getting nice and comfortable. Once you're there, feel your spine nice and long. So head is over the rib cage. Rib cage is over the pelvis. And allow your eyelids to start to get heavy. Maybe gazing down towards the ground. If you'd like, go ahead and close your eyes. And just take a few moments to tune in. Notice whatever's happening on the inside. Feeling into any emotions, being aware of any thoughts. And just acknowledging wherever you are. Allow yourself to be where you are. It's not about being where you were yesterday or being somewhere else where you think you should be. Taking this time to be here, present. Tune into your breath. Soften the muscles in the face. And slow your breath down. With each inhale, imagine your spine is lengthening slightly. With each exhale, let the shoulders and the jaw soften. And begin to notice where your body is connected to the ground or whatever supports you might be sitting on. And let yourself feel supported and held by whatever is beneath you. As we move through our practice today, focusing on the feeling, not so much the shape, not so much what you think you should be doing. Simply let yourself move and pay attention moment to moment to what you're feeling in the body and in the mind. Begin to rotate your head no looking right to left, feeling that nice movement in the neck, and begin to nod your head yes, so looking up and down, finding that nice stretch in the neck. And bringing your head to center, bring your right ear towards your right shoulder just for a moment, 
And then gently lift your head up and go to the other side, the left ear, the left shoulder. Keep going here at your own pace. Bring your head back to center. Blink your eyes open and inhale, lift your chest, reach your arms out to the side, open up the front of the body. And then exhale, round the back, give yourself a hug, tuck your pelvis under and drop your chin towards your chest. Inhale, open up. And exhale, round. Keep going here, follow your breath. Bring yourself back to center. Lower your left hand down and reach your right arm up and overhead. Really ground your right hip down. Begin to breathe into your right side body. So as you inhale, feel as if your rib cage is expanding a little bit more, opening up. And as you exhale, soften the jaw and ground your right hip down into the mat. Few breaths here. On your next exhale, start to round your back and bring your right hand down to the ground so you're folding over that left thigh. Let your head and neck drop. And simply pay attention to what you're feeling in your body. Take your time, stay folded. Begin to walk your hands forward towards the front of your mat until you're folded, getting a gentle hip stretch. Round your sits bones down into the mat, drop your chin and slowly roll yourself up bone by bone. So stacking up the lower back, then the middle back. Upper back, head, lifts, slacks. Go ahead and switch the crossing with the lifts. We'll move to the other side. Right hand comes down, left arm reaches up and over. Take a few moments here to really settle in. Press your left hip down. Think about breathing into your rib cage. Each time you exhale, thinking about grounding your hip down a little bit more. On your next exhale, go ahead and start to round your back, bring your left hand down to the ground, fold over that right thigh, and keep your left hip grounded as best you can. Several deep breaths. Stay folded. Walk your hands over towards the left and then forward towards the front of your mat. Let your head drop. Pay attention to the sensations in your body.
Sits bones nice and grounded. Roll yourself up bone by bone. And then make your way to hands and knees. So bringing your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees under your hips. You can be down on your palms or your fists, whatever feels better today. And then once you're there, start to take some circles with your hips. So as you do this, take your time, really feel what's happening with your hips today. Circle the other way. And bring yourself back to center. Stretch your right leg back behind you and bring it parallel to the earth. On your inhale, keep your spine the same so your belly's really engaged. Lift your right leg a little higher so you're using your glutes, hamstrings to do that. Exhale, knee to chest, round your back. Really pull that knee as far forward as you can so you feel your abs working. Inhale, stretch the leg back and then slightly up. Exhale, knee to chest. Keep going, follow your breath. Really paying attention to where you feel engagement in the body as you're moving. There's no rush. The next time your knees towards the chest, go ahead and pause. Really round your back, hold for a few breaths, pulling that belly button down, actively pushing your hands into the mat. Feel your core. And release your knee, wag your tail. And we'll find our second side. Left leg stretches back, bring it parallel to the earth. So again, for the inhale, the core stays really strong. Your back isn't trying to move here. You're just lifting your leg a little higher. Feel those glutes, hamstrings working. Exhale, knee to chest. Round the back now, so spine changes. Pull that knee as far forward as you can. Inhale as you lift and lengthen. Exhale as you bend. Follow your breath. No rush. The next time your knee is towards your chest, go ahead and pause. Holding there, pull that belly button towards the spine. Actively push the palms or the knuckles down. Keep breathing. And release your knee, wag your tail. Plant your hands down so palms come down if they're not already there. Spread those fingers wide. Tuck your toes and lift yourself all the way up. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal out your feet here, stretching out the backs of the legs. Really paying attention to the movements your body is making and how that makes you feel. Find stillness for a moment, actively pushing the hands down, lengthen your spine, reach your tailbone up. There's no hurry here. Move slowly, really paying attention as you transition. Start to walk your feet towards your hands. So you might need to lift up higher onto the tips of the fingers. You might need to bend your knees to do this. Take your time, really feel the texture of the mat, the change and the stretch as you move all the way forward 
until your toes meet your hands. Knees can be as bent as you need. Relax your head and neck. Soften the muscles in the face. Knees stay nice and soft. Actively push the feet down so it's like you're trying to ground into the earth. So keep grounding down with your feet. Knees soft. Head is heavy. Slowly roll your spine up. It's really feeling that movement in the spine. Taking your time. And head is the last thing to rise. Inhale the arms out and up. And exhale, sit back, chair pose. We're moving into a breath exercise with movement. We'll go slowly and then we'll speed it up. Sweep your arms back behind you, hinge a little further forward. Booty goes back. And then you'll inhale, straighten your legs, reach the arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend the knees, arms sweep back, Hinge forward with the torso, booty back. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you lower. So feel free to continue at this speed or go slower. Or you're going to start to pick up the pace. And let your exhale be a little bit more forceful. So you're just like letting it out and then inhaling naturally. Helps to exhale out the mouth. Couple more times. Next time you're all the way up to stand, go ahead and pause. And feel. Can you feel your heart beating? Can you feel your breath maybe moving a little faster? Slowly release your arms down. Soften those knees. Drop your chin to your chest and roll forward. The whole time paying attention to what you're feeling in the body. Once you're down, fingertips find the mat, step your right leg back into a nice lunge. Plant your right hand down, reach your left arm up, rotate the spine and twist. Hold for a few more breaths here, shoulders away from the ears, spine is long. Lower your left hand down to the inside of your left foot. Inhale to your left foot a little bit wider. From here, we'll do little push-ups with our arms. Back leg stays nice and active. As you inhale, bend your elbows back. You don't have to go super far. Then exhale, straighten out those legs. Legs, straighten out those arms. Inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale, straighten, but you can keep that back leg straight. A few more times here. Follow your breath. Next time your elbows are straight, go ahead and pause. Left hand goes outside of that left foot. Center your left foot. And we'll straighten out that front leg. Go ahead and step your back foot forward just enough to get that right heel down. Pyramid pose. Hug your left hip back. Plant your feet or ground your feet down so you feel that connection to the earth. And feel free to relax your head and neck.
Start to bend into your left knee, finding warrior one. Torso comes all the way up, arms reach up, shoulders soft. Few breaths here, holding. And then go ahead and straighten out your front leg. So keeping your leg super strong. So that left kneecap is pulling up into the thigh. If you need to, you can always soften that front knee. This is not about the range of motion. It's really just simply about feeling what's going on in the body. As you inhale, arms reach up towards the ceiling. So nice, long body. Exhale, keep your legs the same. Start to hinge forward. Arms sweep back, so it doesn't matter how far you go. It might be a couple of inches. You might go until your torso is parallel to the earth. As best you can, the spine is staying super long. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, hinging forward. Arms sweep back. Just a few more times. Follow your breath. No rush, but next time you're hinging forward, go ahead and pause. Interlace your fingers behind the back and start to bend into your front knee. Find a variation of humble warrior. So instead of rounding all the way forward, pull those shoulder blades together, reach those knuckles back, and reach the head all the way forward. So you're finding that length in the spine in this variation. Release the fingertips down and step forward. Right foot meets the left. Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Soften those knees and roll all the way up to stand. Once you're up, reach your arms out and up and sit back, chair pose. This time we'll just hold the chair for a few moments, feeling that strength in the legs. Keep lengthening the spine, pull your ribs in. And on your next exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway up, flat back, shoulders move away from the ears. Exhale, release. Fingertips down, left leg steps back into a lunge. Left hand stays down, right arm rises, twist as you inhale. Holding for a few breaths. Noticing where you feel stretch in the body, where you feel strength. Noticing where your mind is going. And then keep redirecting your attention to your body. On your next exhale, right hand lowers down. Bring it to the inside of that right foot and widen your stance. Right foot goes out to the right. Back leg is nice and active. Inhale, bend your elbows back like you're taking a little push up here. Exhale, push down and straighten the arms. Inhale as you bend. Exhale as you straighten. A few more times here. Follow your breath. So don't worry about my speed. Follow the speed of your body. Your breath. Next time your elbows are straight, go ahead and pause. Heel to that right foot to center and start to straighten that right leg. Back foot steps forward just enough to get that left heel down and fold, pyramid pose. Right hip is hugging back, head and neck trying to release, relax. Pay attention.
Start to soften your front knee. Warrior one. Torso comes all the way up. Holding for several breaths. Shoulders soften. Hips are trying to square, so right hip is pulling back. And straighten out your front leg. So again, keeping your spine really long as we move here. That right leg is really active. So kneecaps pulling up into the thigh. The quad is nice and firm. As you exhale, start to hinge forward. Arms sweep back. Doesn't matter how far you go. Spine stays long here. Then inhale, come up to stand. Arms sweep up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you hinge. Inhale as you lift. Follow your pace now. So there's no rush. The next time you're hinging forward, go ahead and pause. Arms are sweeped back. Go ahead and interlace those fingers. Pull the shoulder blades together. Lengthen your spine and bend into that front knee. So variation of humble warrior. So the head is reaching towards the wall opposite you. Your knuckles are reaching back. Your spine is trying to stay mostly long. Few breaths. Release your fingertips down to the mat and step forward. Left foot meets the right. Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway up. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees and make your way all the way down to seated. So however you want to come down is fine. Stretch out those legs. Sit nice and tall. So if already here, Sitting tall is not going to work for you because your hamstrings are feeling tight or you're starting to slouch. Go ahead and sit up on something. Sit on a pillow, sit on a block, blanket, towel. So feel that nice height. And then bend your right knee. Cross your right foot over your left thigh. Sitting nice and tall. Inhale, reach your left fingertips up towards the ceiling, right hand behind you. Exhale, twist to your right and hug your knee or hook your elbow, whatever feels better. And then you decide what feels good on the neck today. Maybe you want to look past your right shoulder, maybe you want to look straight ahead, maybe you want to look to the left. So letting yourself pay attention to what your body needs and then doing that. Gently unwind. Stretch out your right leg and we'll switch sides. Bend your left knee. Left foot crosses over that right thigh, sitting nice and tall. So really ground those sits bones. Inhale, reach your right arm up, left fingertips back. Exhale, twist. Either hook your elbow or hug your knee in. Smooth breath. And then again, it's up to you what you do with your neck. Find what feels good and stick with that.
Just a few more breaths. And gently unwind. Undo your legs, shake them out. Scoot yourself a little bit forward so you have lots of space behind you to come down. Arms come forward. Legs are straight. If you need to, go ahead and bend them a little bit. In fact, go ahead and just do that. A little bend or big bend if you need to. Tuck your pelvis under and slowly roll all the way down. Now, as you roll down, you can straighten out those legs. <sighs> now, once you come down, you can take a little sigh of relief. Bend your knees, hug them into your chest, rock a little side to side. And then find center. Slowly release your legs down. So maybe your knees are bent or maybe your legs are long, finding your final resting pose. Let yourself get nice and comfortable, so if you need to shift around a little bit, you're welcome to. Close the eyes and soften the jaw. And really bring your attention in. What do you feel? There's no need to try and push anything out. When we try to push things away, they often rise up stronger or more intensely. So just let whatever emotions, whatever thoughts wash over you. You don't have to like them. Just let them be. You're here to observe. Pay attention. you can, you might choose now to pause the video and just let yourself be here for a couple more minutes, observing your thoughts, observing whatever feelings show up. However, if it's time for you to move on with the rest of your day, Bring your palms to touch in front of your heart. Just take a moment here to acknowledge yourself for showing up. Take care of your mind and your body. Namaste.